Okay, so I just filmed the whole blindfolded part of this challenge. It was really fun, by the way. I'll show you guys in a second. And I haven't looked through all the makeup. It's all right here. But all I know is at the top, there are like four highlighters. How did I end up with four highlights? All of my makeup is like organized by drawer. I'm pretty stoked though. This is a really fun challenge. Hello everyone! I'm here today to share with you guys a new makeup challenge and this was something that you guys requested. I had done a little poll in the community tab which kind of shows up in your subscription feeds and a lot of you guys, like majority of you, wanted to see this particular challenge so that is what we are doing today. Christopher filmed it for me and we kind of went through all of my drawers, picked out a whole bunch of makeup. Ready? Yep. Okay. First drawer? Second drawer? Second drawer. Ah. Okay. Got one. Okay. Okay. Oh no. That's not <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> is this the drawer or is this the drawer? Which one? Uh, yeah, you've got your hand on it. The top one. Top one? Okay. Yeah. Oh, is this, oh, this is bad. Oh, I need a couple of these. And you just dump the whole drawer in. <laughs> Christopher! That's, uh, careful, that's kitchen knives. You only got one brow product. Is that enough? Nope. Do I need another one? Yep. Is this good? Sure. <laughs> oh, this one. No, this is the same drawer. Yep. There you go. Okay. This one? Yep. I have no idea what drawer this is. Uh, mascara. Mascara. Okay. Should I choose this side or this side? Uh, left side. Left side? Uh, can I choose two? I think I can choose two. Okay. <laughs> do uh, one of each and just go through? Yeah. Okay. Oh no! Too much makeup. <laughs> oh, is this eyeshadow? Okay, yes. A whole bunch of eyeshadows. One, two. Let's choose something from over here. Let's just you know mix it up. You know, blush which side? Uh, right side. And then bronzer. I have no idea what I've just been. I thought I would be better at this, like I would know just from packaging and feel, but no, no, no idea. What side? Left or right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, let's do a potted one and a regular one. Okay, so these are lips, mm -hmm. so I'm going to choose from two drawers. Okay. Okay. Top and bottom. Top and bottom? Okay. Not that one. No, that's uh, liners again. Yeah. Okay. And now I have to make a full look using just the makeup in this little bin. Just to make it a little bit different, I have these bins of new makeup that I use to kind of sort all of the new makeup that comes in from PR samples and stuff like that. And so I picked five new products as well. I'm going to choose one, two, three, four. Uh, that's looking cool. You're going to make all five lipsticks? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you do. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And don't forget to enter today's giveaway, which is this beautiful package of makeup. If you guys are interested, check out the info bar below for all of the details. And that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And without further ado, let's get into this. So first, let's actually go through all of the makeup that I picked out today. So starting at the top, which is all the new products, and we'll work our way down. Um, first we have, this is by Makeup Revolution, the Triple Baked Highlighter in Goddess of Love, the NARS Danger Control Eyeshadow Palette, Ofra Feeling Myself Highlighter Palette, Makeup Revolution Starlight Liquid Highlighter, and the Buxom Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lights Down. So those are all the new products. And then for the rest of it, I chose the Rimmel Match Perfection um, Powder for the concealers. I was hoping I kind of would choose ones that would be my shade. Um, so I have the Wet n Wild one as well as NARS. This is in Honey, which is going to be way too dark for me. And then it seems I picked up a green CC cushion. This is from Lancome. We have the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. The YSL Sunkissed Blur Perfector High Healthy Glow Balm Powder. Ta-da! I haven't used this in ages. Oh, it's like putty! The Essence I Love Extreme Volume Mascara. Waterproof. And we have more highlights, in case anyone is curious. We have the NYX Duochromatic uh, Illuminating Powder. This is in Snow Rose, as well as the Becca Champagne, did I get Champagne Pop? Ugh. What are the chances? Then we have the NARS Man Ray. This is the Intensely um, Blush. <laughs> it, is an, it is an orange blush, everyone. All right. 
freaking orange. For eyeshadows, I feel like I went a little bit crazy. I just picked like a whole bunch of stuff. I was feeling very pressured to get it done. One is the Smashbox Golden Hour Eye Palette. Surprisingly, I did not pick any colors, which I'm kind of disappointed by. Um, I picked these, like they're both really nice, but it honestly looks like I cheated. This is Seeker and this is Sundance. Then we have Kitten Karma, which is a glitter. This is by Stila. We have another concealer. This is by Hourglass. How many concealers did I pick up? Another mascara, and it's also a clear brow gel. This is by e.l.f. It's their duo, their sweat resistant one. We have two different brow products. One is by uh, Nude Stick. This is their um, eyebrow stylus pencil and gel, as well as the Revlon Colorstay Brow Mousse. For primer, I chose the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and then um, the e.l.f. Molten Liquid Eyeshadow. Seriously, like did I pick everything in my drawers? And we have two different foundations because again, I was kind of going into it hoping that if I chose one that was dark, there would be one that was light to kind of balance it out and I could kind of mix them. Um, we have the Healthy Foundation. This is in LN3 as well as the um, Burt's Bees Foundation, which I hate. So that's gonna be fun combining those. And then for eyeliner, we have Black Ink by Bobbi Brown as well as the Stila Smudge Stick in Stingray. And then two lip colors. This one, is the um, Too Faced Melted, and this is in Melted Strawberry, as well as the NYX Butter Gloss in Raspberry Tart. And that is everything, guys, and honestly, I didn't expect myself to pick the swell. All right, now that we're zoomed in and I've laid out everything, I kind of eliminated a couple of procs because, again, I went a little bit crazy. So I chose the two new highlights and I removed like the Becca one and the NYX one because I feel like that's more interesting. And I eliminated these two because I already know how these work and I have not tried the Buxom ones and there's only so many lip products I can put in my lips. But I'm gonna keep everything else. I'm gonna keep all 20 eyeshadows and just see what happens. This is what you get for picking too many products. We're gonna start with the eyes and I actually didn't pick up an eye primer. I don't know how I missed it, but, but I did. So instead I am going to use the Wet n Wild concealer and I'm gonna use that all over my lids. Oh my gosh, my hands are so cold right now. It's like little icicles applying my makeup. And now on to the eyeshadows. I have so many eyeshadows, I don't know how I'm gonna do those. This new one from NARS, which I have not even swatched yet. Um, and it looks like they have a couple of really pretty colors in there, so let's swatch these. You need a very light hand with these shadows, people, but look how gorgeous that is. Oh. So what I'm trying to do here is try to figure out the palette here. So I have the um, Stila Glitter in here, I have the blush, down right here and I'm just trying to see what is going to complement all of the shades. So I'm gonna start with the Smashbox shade right here, this matte one, and I'm just gonna apply that to the crease. And because everything is basically gonna be centered around that lash line, I think that's where I want to put all the color and the glitter and everything. I'm just gonna keep this pretty light and pretty easy. Then I'm gonna take Seeker here, this shade. It's kind of dried up though. I don't know how much I'm gonna get out of this, but I'm gonna try my best. Note to self, maybe weed out the shadows that are uh, dried and old first. Just gonna try and concentrate that along the wing and do a bit of a smoky wing look maybe. Now I'm gonna take this rose gold um, liquid shadow from e.l.f. and I think I'm going to apply that to the inner part of the lid. I personally don't love this one as much, but it seems like a lot of people love it. I'm gonna take this kind of reflective gold copper shade and I'm going to put that along the outer lid space. I actually might use my fingertip for this. I think I'm gonna get a better result that way. I got those ones done and maybe we'll just play with this purple shade onto the inner part of the lid. I'm gonna use a damp brush to really intensify that color. Oh my gosh. This purple is making me feel things. You do need a very, very light hand though when you're working with this shade. Like it's starting to, it's a little bit crumbly. So you just like gentle, gentle when you're using it. And now I'm gonna take the Bobbi Brown black liner and just gonna wing along the outside and just kind of see what I'm, what I'm working with here. Cause I've got very warm tones on the outer and then cool tones on the inner. And I just kind of want to balance it out a bit. And I think what I might do is actually leave it a little bit messy and use this purpley shade here and sort of smoke out that line a little bit and not make it so perfect. Something kind of like that, you know? Just wanna crisp up that outer kind of wing, you know? Just make it a little bit sharper. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, now that that is most of the way even, I've taken off the tape, kind of cleaned up under the eyes a bit. I'm going to go on to my next eyeliner and basically what I'm gonna do with this is just gonna tie line the top waterline. And that is just going to make the lashes look a little bit fuller. All right, so we're just going to curl my lashes and um, today I'm going to use the Essence one 
for my eyes and then the duo, the e.l.f. one, I'm just going to use the clear brow gel on the one end for my brows. I actually really like the Essence mascaras. They're really nice and I have a whole bunch of them in the mascara drawer, so I'm not surprised I picked one. I don't remember if it's this one specifically. I know I love the Lash Princess one. That one's amazing. Oh, this one's looking a little bit gray. Mm. All right, my lashes aren't looking as full as I normally like them to look, so I'm gonna try and layer some of the e.l.f. stuff on top and just see if that helps, because you never know. Maybe these two are amazing together. Or just a clumpy mess that threatens my eyeshadow look. Yeah? Cool. All right, and now on to the brows, and I'm gonna start with the Nude Stick. This is their Eyebrow Stylus Pencil and Gel. Shade's a little bit warm for what I normally put on my brows but we'll make it work, we'll make it work. We'll try and like even it out a bit with the, uh, this is the Revlon Colorstay Brow Mousse. Basically, it is a mousse that comes out of the little spoolie on both sides and you basically just brush it into your brows. It's not my favorite product, um, but it does get the job done. And then last but not least, we are going to set the brows with this e.l.f. duo right here. Um, I don't love this one. It's like this teeny tiny little wand and it has some clear brow gel, but it doesn't really hold my brows in place. So maybe this work if you have sparser brows or your brows like to stay in place. But mine are unruly and don't like to follow the rules. All right, now we're gonna move on to the face. So I'm gonna take my Smashbox one and just apply that all over. I'm lumping in the color correcting too. Um, I'm just going to apply a little bit of this just to like the chin where I'm a little bit on the red side and beside the nose. This is a very nice like light light green one so it's not too obnoxious but it does cancel out a lot of that redness. Oh and I have a big zit like right on the side of my nose so it really kind of Kinda hurts right now when I'm pressing against it. And now moving on to foundation, I'm gonna combine these two together. I do not love the Burt's Bees one. You can watch the whole video I did testing out new Burt's Bees makeup if you are interested. This is one of the products that I did not like. In summary, it left me looking really greasy and it doesn't smell very good. But we're gonna combine that with the Healthy Foundation from Physician Formula, which I do love and I think this is a great foundation. I've been using it a lot actually recently. So one good, one bad, I can deal with that. We're just going to Lend it onto the skin. Oh, there's that smell again. Ugh. The two foundations together are quite full coverage though. And it's looking really good so far. And now for concealer, I have three different concealers. Technically, I've already used this one as a primer. Um, so let's go on to the other two. Let's see if I can even use this one. This one's pretty dark. Oh, you know what? I can actually, I can kind of use it as a color corrector. Life hack. Now we're gonna put the Hourglass one on top. This is their hidden concealer. This is in the shade Fair. Put a little bit on the side of the nose and over those beautiful zits. I'm gonna try and blend this out with a concealer brush. That actually worked out pretty well. Hooray! <laughs> now before I set everything, I'm going to be testing out this um, Makeup Revolution Starlit Liquid Highlighter. I've never tried their liquid highlights before, but a lot of people really like them. It's more of a pinky shade, which I think will like complement the purples. I'm gonna dot a little bit on my fingertips and then apply it on top of the cheekbones. Woo! That's blinding. This stuff is no joke, everyone. A little bit goes a long way. So far, so good. I like it. It doesn't dry down super fast, which is nice. It has almost a, almost an oily texture, but that's not right. It's not oily, but it's very serum-y. It's very light, it's smooth, and it blends really nicely. And now onto setting powder, and I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection one. I really like this one. It's a very, very nice um, powder, and it comes with its own little powder puff, which you all know. I love me a good powder puff. We're just going to bake a little bit underneath the eyes and around the mouth, and then just set all over the face. And now we're just gonna wipe away all the excess. Ooh. And now we're gonna go on to the bronzer-ish kind of product. It's it's a blurring bronzer balm to powder thing. So I'm just gonna use a big brush here and sort of like dust it on like I would a bronzer. It says balm to powder. So it should turn into a powder, right? Yeah, that looks really good. Just very seamless. It blended onto the skin really nicely. I like that. I don't know I don't know why I haven't used this more. And now going on to the blush, we are going in with this NARS bright orange blush here. Cause I know you're all as curious as I am. Like how orange is this gonna look on my skin? You know what actually? I really like this. You have to be very careful with how much you apply, but it almost has this like peachy sherbetness going on. And it's actually like really, really nice. And it complements sort of the orangey tones in the outer part of my eyeshadow. Oh, I like it. And for powder highlight today, we're gonna test out this trio from Ofra. This is their Feeling Myself Highlighter Palette. 
What an interesting name choice, Ofra. <laughs> it comes with three different shades here, and I believe at least these two are ones they already have, and this one's a new one, I think. Um, so we have Blissful, Pillow Talk, and Rodeo Drive. Like, wowzer, that is intense. Especially that top one, that is really reflective. Why aren't the other ones as reflective? Like, Blissful may work on my skin tone. We're gonna try it, because that, that one I'm really, like, really into right now. Maybe I'll mix it in with a little bit of Pillow Talk, which is that middle light shade just to kind of lighten it up a bit. The middle shade is very, very white. Like I feel like that would work best if I had no self tanner on right now. It feels a little bit too like pinky white for me right now. I'm gonna pop a mixture of the two of them into the inner corner. There we go. Now we got some glow going on. So now I'm just gonna finish up my eye look and I'm going to take a couple of the shades from the Smashbox palette and kind of smudge that underneath the eyes. And then, cause I need to use the um, Stila Glitter still. I think I'm gonna apply that to the bottom part of the tear duct just for like an extra pop of glitter. Ooh, that is pretty. I like that. And now for the lips, we're gonna be testing out the Buxom Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick. And it says here it is one stroke color, fully saturated with a satin shine, and it's going to be long lasting. It's gonna have the, oh, it has the tingling stuff in it. Oh, cause it's plumping, oh no. Not my favorite kind of product for me personally, but um, we'll, we'll test it out, we'll see how tingly it is. So far so good in that the tingles aren't super aggressive, so that's good. The color isn't one I would necessarily pick, for this look, but maybe if I blend in a couple of more like the more orangey tones into my eyeshadow, it might like make it a little bit more cohesive, you know? Now we're just gonna shake up the setting spray and spray it all in. <clears throat> I don't know why I kept my mouth open for that. <laughs> and here's the final makeup look. Like it's not color combinations that I would normally pick, which I like. I like that I was forced to try something a little bit different. So this is a really fun challenge. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more of these type of challenge videos. If you have any requests, leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and maybe I'll do another one of these. Maybe I'll do them seasonally or something. We'll try something new. And uh, yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I will see you guys all on Tuesday. Love you girls, mwah.